Lawrence and Master Lawrence and Master Lawrence and Master Lawrence. Yes, Penguin. Your package is here, Master Lawrence. Which package? Is the field mode LUT 74K monitor you ordered? Remember. Ah, uh, that package, yeah. Do you want to have a look at it now, Master? I don't know, it's Corona and Norway's in lockdown. What's the point? The field mode monitor is ultra bright with 2200 nits and is perfect for your BMPCC 4K. Send a droid for him. Yes, Master Lorenzen. The big lens Sigma 70 to 200 because uh, we have a bird couple that uh, moved into our uh, bird house. They are probably going to make eggs and babies and having their rituals and stuff like that. So uh, I want to film them that they are living in the bird house. And I really, really love the peaking. The peaking is saying to me that you have it in focus, Raymond, everything is good. I already had my film rig ready, so when the moon was there, I had no choice other than filming it. It's a bit early to talk about what I think about the Field World LUT 7 monitor, but I really like that the monitor works so good outside in daylight and sunshine. The peaking, the grid, the touchscreen is amazing, and probably many other things as well. The battery is very good because it feels like it's lasting forever. One thing is for sure is that when I have a good monitor like this, I become a better film photographer. Everything is like, I see art. In Norway, the colt's foot is the sign of spring. And now we have spring here in Norway. It's also very easy to flip the screen and then I can see if I am in focus, the light, the composition and so on. I can put a microphone beside the monitor and then turn on your microphone because if not you will have no sound. And uh, probably I will make uh, a video where I will uh, go deeper into this monitor and uh, stuff like that. So then I say thanks for watching.